in your story, you are envisioning that we are really the ones with the power to give life to the tiger or life to the horse. And this is that great illusion that Lord Krishna dispels in the Bhagavad Gita to Arjun. When Arjun says, I can't fight, I'll kill them. Bhagwan Krishna basically says, oh really? Oh really? Since when have you become the one who decides who lives and who dies? Since when have you become the one with the power to take life? That's not you, that's me. And in the same way, recognize, of course, that yes, we have to act according to integrity, according to our values, our ethics, our spiritual precepts. But also to recognize that ultimately all of nature is not in our shoulders. Especially a situation like this. Most of us would tend to vote for the horse in the same way that when we watch, you know, National Geographic movies and the lion is running after zebras, we always vote for the zebras. I mean, it's just natural. I've never met anyone who's like, yeah, get them. <laughs> and you'd worry if you did. And that's natural. It's beautiful. It go, it's sort of in alignment with our our spiritual and our social understanding that we should help those who are the underdog. We love it. We love it when in football games, boxing matches, the underdog wins. Right? We just, we always love that. And that's great. It's, a, it's an aspect of our personality, our culture that says, Ki the one who is weaker, we should help them. In the case of the horse and the tiger, we actually can help them by lying to the tiger. In the case of the lion and the zebras or random sports teams, obviously we can't do anything. But we do seem to think that, you know, cheering and rooting and yelling at the TV screen gives them at least in some way our, our energy, our blessings. And I think that's beautiful. I think giving whatever power we have to the weak is a beautiful aspect of our, our compassionate, loving, caring personalities. But don't allow yourself to get wrapped up in the ego of, oh yeah, I'm the one who saved that horse. Oh yeah, I yelled at the screen so the zebra got away like she could hear me. It's not up to us. We do what we can do. We act in alignment every minute and every moment with our core values, the best we can do. Knowing, of course, that there's a divine plan in all of this and it's going to unfold.